This is year one, week 21. Another business trip this week down to Florida again, staying at the Fairfield Inn and Suites, which you've seen me stay at before in other vlogs. And I had a car that I've already had before in past vlogs, Chrysler 300, even though I think I had that one in Houston. But it was the same car, so there wasn't anything new to show in the vlog. And then I just went to a bunch of meetings, and you've seen me on airplanes before, so really didn't take any footage even though I did have my GoPro with me I did I didn't take any footage but one of the things that I did do regularly when I was down there was in the hotels I was doing my little exercise routine because I have become 45 pounds less fat this week so uh, very very proud of myself my whole strategy of Consuming less and more nutrition and moving more is, is is definitely paying off here in the beginning Because like I said, I'm I'm, o I'm over 45 pounds Less fat but one of the things that I wanted to show you this week was my little exercise routine that I've Developed that I like and that I do regularly and some of the moves I do just all over the place in public and private we're watching a movie while we're out at the grocery store. If I just feel the, you know, the, the strain on my body and where I just need to do a stretch or something like that. And having lost now 45 pounds, my body's kind of resetting and it just feels different. The way that my body has to hold less weight and less fat. So uh, I stand differently in all of this. So. I do a lot of these stretches and these moves, like I said, all the time, but I wanted to show you them this week because I, I can actually see my vlog kind of developing more into this whole less fat that I'm going through, and this whole less fat thinking, and this whole less fat behaving, and this whole less fat just being less fat. So I wanted to show you the moves, so let's go ahead and get right into my little exercise routine that I do and it's only about a 15 minute routine I'll talk about some of the variations that I've done when I was just starting out and I was over 300 pounds so here we go let's go ahead and get started the first one and if you want to leave a comment down below because I'm sure that most of these have some type of official name but I'm gonna call them what I just so, first one is uh, touch the floor, touch your toes, bend over. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, so depending on how big you were, because when I first started, I mean, touching my toes or touching the ground or bending over, let's just call it bending over. Bending over was like this, and I could really feel, obviously, the stretch in the back of my legs, and I could really feel the you know the strain on my lower back so but uh, now I can do it a lot better but one of the things I just need to tell you though I'm talking is to make sure that you take nice breaths when you're when you're doing this so now I just take a nice exhale inhale exhale and I can really feel the release in my lower back and my whole spine when I do this. I keep my knees somewhat flexed because I can really feel the strain in my knees if I try to straighten them too much. So I just get... This is my by far my favorite. Now, because I have lost some weight, I can actually stand up from this now, but be before I lost weight, <laughs> I couldn't do that. That It actually hurt. I mean, it was good because I knew I was strengthening my lower back, but so my variation was I would actually just, I could only go to about right here physically because I had such a big belly. 
So I can only go about right here and I can really still feel the strain and stuff in my lower or my uh, knees and back behind my legs. And so what I would then do to come up is I would actually bend my legs and then stand up. That really helped mentally me thinking that I could do this and it was beneficial and it wasn't so painful. So I wouldn't stop doing it. So again, make sure you breathe. Okay, as you exhale, get a nice big stretch as you exhale. Feel that release, and if you need to, bend those knees and then come up. That really, really helps. And then after I do the touch the ground or bend over, uh, then we'll do the, I don't know what you want to call it, but I, I then come up and I get a nice stretch here, back. I can really feel it in my stomach, which is very, very weak still. I can just feel my core, I guess, maybe really uh, supporting me. And so I'll call it the, the amazing, we'll call that the amazing move, like amazing. And so I just do that. So that's the first two moves. And then the one that's actually still pretty hard to do, and because we just watched Couples Retreat the other night, the movie with Vince Vaughn and all that, I'm pretty sure this one's called Downward Facing Dog. So, so it's basically the bend over move, and then walk out and keep those feet planted. You can come up a little bit because really what I do is when I breathe out, I want to I plant my heel. So inhale. And I'm sure my form really sucks. And I probably got a big arch in my back still because I'm just I'm still just used to, you know, bad posture and everything else. From just being so fat so once I do that and I go ahead and come back up you can do it oh stretch it out oh that's so good and then come back up you can see that I still been my easy when I'm just not thinking about it but when I was over 300 pounds I couldn't do I, I couldn't do the downward facing dog at all it, it, it bounced me it just hurt too much and I didn't even have good strength in my arm to hold that much weight up. So one of the things I do, and I I still do it now, is I'll, I'll usually like the couch here, or down the Fairfield and Suites this week, use the end of the bed, and kind of do downward facing dog, but get something that's elevated. It's, it's probably more like a plank, but it really still is planting those, and you can, you know, you can kind of really get a same stretch, you know, so. I do that, so that might be a way that you could start out, and that's the way that I started out doing it as I, as I got more and more flexible and got more strength built up, because, I mean, holding up over 300 pounds is, well, it's 300 pounds, <laughs> so, all right, so once we have done downward facing dog and all that, uh, now what the next move is, and I'm, I'm not even sure what this is called again, but I kind of remember this from my tennis days. So, and actually, I still need, just because of my weight, I'm still, what, 265 pounds or so, which is still, I don't know, that might be still considered obese. Don't know. But it's still a lot of weight. <laughs> so, I position my mat here so I can use my couch. So then what I do is, and plus I'm like six foot two, so then I do this move where I'm at, you can see I'm using the couch over here for stability right now is I plant put my foot down like this and this is really going to get a stretch and stuff and uh, and her favorite muscle <laughs> so and then what we do is we go and if, if you need to support because you can't you know if you just wobbly right which is what I still do right so don't feel bad right uh, I, I admire and I am so thankful for the people that are out there that are doing these great exercise videos for beginners and intermediate and advanced and but uh, I'm just showing you what I do and so do what obviously feels comfortable but also good and, and just don't hurt yourself so so I use support and so then what I do is and I don't want my knee to really go I'm trying to keep it as perpendicular as possible but we'll get there and so then we do this like that and really whoo, whoo, 
Ooh, your favorite muscle, you're gonna feel it. Oh, oh. And then, you know, what I do then, so and then you go here, and I'm sure that there's some advance with your arms, something like that, but if you need to support yourself, then do so, because the whole point of this is the stretch. Oh, yeah, and I mean, also the strength, but that will come, I mean, that will come, so. Ooh, so I do it nice, and of course, then I come back, and I just switch. Always good, I think, to get a mat, because uh, you're, you're all putting some stress on on the knee, and you know it's a it's a contact point for weight. So, and again, use something if you need to for support, and always then you can let go of your support and just you can see me wobbling, right? Because it is uh, that's also adds to the strength development. So, but then I do that. That's what I do, and then the next one I do is again touch your toes or bend over. But now what I do is I, uh, I do it with my arms behind my back. So I remember doing this one as a kid, especially in tennis and stuff like that. You know, you would raise your, oh, get, you know, oh, oh. Well, that was in, <laughs> that was in couples retreat too. Oh, look at my titties. Oh, that wasn't, no, that's not, that's not couples retreat. That's like fat bastard, right? Austin Power. Get him up, look at my big old man titties. No, okay, so. <laughs> All right, too much information, but then what we do is go down and really, oh. So same kind of thing. You can see me wobbling, because this is still a fairly stressful move. Now, what I started out doing was actually just grabbing like my wrist, or even just grabbing my fingers and doing the same move but just I, I couldn't even when I was over 300 pounds I, I couldn't even raise up my my hands from the my back that's how you know unflexible I was to start with and so I just really started real slow just oh, we'll try to get but now as you can see I can really get my arms up more so and again bend those knees and come up so that's the next one I do and then the one that makes me feel kind of manly is then where put that foot back. I remember doing this one from the Wii days. I think it was Wii. I think they had it on like exercise, but so it's like this. And that's and this again. Here. This one I don't usually use support because my foot is sideways here, so I have better. Platform. I don't know what you want to call it. Better stance, more stability. So, and then same thing. I don't want the knee to go way, way over. I want to actually stay from knee to the foot perpendicular. And then you got the classic, the warrior pose. And I'm actually doing stuff online and looking at stuff online. I mean, you can, you know, the warrior pose, right? Or you can. I think I've seen people where they turn and. They, they look forward and they put their arms up. Or you can do the Hawaiian warrior. But I do the warrior pose. And again, I, I feel that it's a strength thing to get stability. And of course, then you would actually just rotate around and do the same way. And depending on your strength level, your weight, I mean, maybe just don't go as far. Like I said, a lot of times I'll just kind of hold my arms. I'm pretty sure I probably should do something like this because that would add some strength. But I do the warrior. And if you can't, you can just start out. When I was starting out, I think I was about right here. And that's about all I could do because I was so much weight and I would just get so wobbly doing it. But I still did it because I wanted to progress. So. so that's the moves I do. And then I add two moves that I do really for strength. And so one, and this is gonna be horrible form. I'm just letting you know right now. This is gonna be just horrible form. Everybody's gonna yell at me if you, if you care about me in the comments. You're gonna say this is actually horrible form, but one of the things that I want to get toward with my core and my, my stomach and all that is I actually, I wanna be able to like just from a literally a lying position, I want to be able just to curl my body 
and sit up. I mean, there's all those people that can like and flip up like they're some ninja. I just want to be able to curl up. So I'm going to call this the curling sit up. But it's not going to be a curling sit up. You'll see why here in just a minute. But so I do this two or three times. That's all. Because really it's about the down. So I start in a sitting position. If you want, you can work on touching your toes. You get a nice stretch there too. And then I hold my arms out. And then what I do is I actually curl down. I don't just straight and lay down. I'm really trying to keep my chin and my head and just really curl down. And I really feel it activated in my, in my stomach. Because what I really want to be able to do is I want to be able to then do the reverse of that, which is bring my arms up and then curl up, which I can't because, well, the main thing is, is because my center of gravity right now is way above my hips because of this. So this is where the form gets really horrible because this is what I'm doing, but I still want to do it. So what I do is I actually swing my arms for the momentum to get up past where my center of gravity right here of my of me is now over my my hips so what I do then is then I actually swing my arms to come up and I do this about and I get a nice good stretch nice curl and then I'll go back down and the negative I'm pretty sure Going slow like that is probably the best. No. So this is kind of my core sit up. So that's what I'll do. And again, that's where I really start to sweat. <laughs> uh, just because, well, it really is activating my stomach a lot. And as I get better at that, I lose more and more fat in my torso. It'll just become better. Then the next strength, strength exercise that I do for my core is then a plank. And because even at my weight still of 265 pounds, doing a full plank on my wrists like this actually hurts my wrists enough where, well, I just, I got to stop before I think my core needs to stop. So instead, what I do is I do a one minute plank then where I'm using my elbows. So I will go down on my elbows like this. And usually I have my phone or something so I can time myself. And then I'll go into the plank. And I'll do this then for a full minute. And I'll start, I'll start bouncing and hopping and all this kind of, as my muscles really start to activate and get tired. And I can really feel then that in my core, meaning my stomach and my back, which is what is really, really, really weak. And then, and then the last move that I do once I'm done with all of those is then, I, and I think it's called, I don't know, the, the child pose? I don't know. The bean pose? I don't know. Deer dropping pose? I don't know what it's called. But it's for you. And this I couldn't do before. At all, almost. So just kind of just let everything. And this was just so tough because well, I, I had a bigger belly than what I got now, so it was just almost. It was just like physically, I was just like, oh, I just I was like this, you know, which is okay. Do what you can do, right? That's what it's all about. So those are the moves that I do in this little routine. 10 to 15 minutes, it's no problem. But start out, start out slow. One of the first things, there's only two moves that I really just did all the time, which was basically just to you know, touch the floor and then the American reach for the stars, right? So I would just start out, oh, and I would do this so often, just trying to get more and more flexible and then I would slowly come up to try to strengthen my lower back. And then I would be And that's what I would do. So, you know, that's my little workout routine that I go through 
I think some very simple moves. You can do some variations. Pay attention, you know, to your body. So if you really feel, you know, strain on your on your knees, but you still feel the stretch, then flex those knees and stuff. Really save your joints on any move. Like I said, I'm saving my wrists on the full plank just because it's it's a lot of my 265 pounds of the plank on my wrist is still just a little too painful, so I use my elbows. So you know, and that's getting me ready for maybe starting to do push-ups and all this kind of stuff and, and squats and all this here in the future. But I'm starting out slow, I'm trying to build up my flexibility and my basic strength before I move on to stuff like that. So I'm on the I'm on the edge of glory of that 50 pounds less fat. And that would be absolutely amazing when I get there. So I will see you guys in week 22. Bye.